Sudama was Krishna's friend and devotee. He was married to a Brahmin girl and had many children. They did not get enough food to eat. Mother, please, I'm so hungry. I need more food. Mm, okay. Take this for now, my child. I will ask your father to get you more. Sudama's wife consoled her children and made them sleep and waited for her husband. Once her husband reached home from his daily visit from temple, My dear, aren't you and Krishna the Lord of Dwaraka friends? And Krishna is married to the goddess of prosperity, Rukmani. It doesn't matter that we are hungry, but we should at least be able to feed the children enough. Am I right? What can I do? I'm working as hard as I can for my earning, but we can't ask for favors from anybody. My lord, I beg you, for the sake of our children at least, please meet Lord Krishna. How can I ask my close friend? I am not just asking for food or prosperity in life, just for his humble blessings, which will make my children happy forever. As you say, dear, tell me this. He is the Lord of Dwaraka. Do you think the guards will let me in? Or what will I give to Krishna when I see him after a long time? Uh, dear, you always told me that Krishna immensely loved power, right? Just wait, I will be back in a minute. Sudama's wife ran to her neighbor's house and returned with a handful of pava, which she bundled in a small piece of cloth and requested Sudama to go at once. My lord, here it is. These are not wealthy goods, but Krishna's most favorite foods. So please don't hesitate. Meet your friend immediately, at least for the sake of our children. In much of a mixed thought, Sudama walked towards Dwarka with the only hope of seeing his close friend. With the torn ragged cloth and a tiny bundle at the end of a stick, Sudama entered Dwarka. As Sudama reached Krishna's palace, he was stopped by the gatekeepers. Hey, you! Who the hell are you? Sir, I want to meet my dear friend Krishna. Can you please tell that Sudama has come to meet him? <laughs> Do we look like fools to you? Look at your tone dress and how dare you call our master by his name. Just go away or else we might put you in jail. Sir, I beg you to let me in. I came from a far distant place to see my dearest friend. Friend, how can a poor man like you be a friend to our Lord? Sir, at least let him know that Sudama is here for him to meet. Hey beggar, can't you understand? If you want to meet our Lord, meet him in the royal court and not here. Krishna, who identified his best friend from the balcony, ran towards him. My dear friend, it's a great fortune that you have come here. Krishna made Sudama to sit on a cushioned chair. He then washed and flowered his friend's feet. This behavior of Krishna towards his friend shocked the attendance of the palace. Even Sudama was shell-shocked and couldn't utter a single word. My dear friend, you are most intelligent and know very well the principles of religious life. I know very well that from the very beginning you were never attached to the materialist way of life. Oh dear, 
How can I ask him for a favor? I think you may remember our activities during the days when we were living as students. Both of us may have parted, but with the master's blessing, I hope you are living a happy life. Oh Krishna, if I say I am in poor state, then our master's blessing will prove wrong. No, I don't want anything from you Krishna. I only want your blessings. And asked, So my dear friend, what have you brought for me? Has your wife given you some nice eatables? How can I offer such an insignificant thing? Sudama hesitated out of shyness. Krishna understood his friend's heart and snatched the bundle of chipped rice. What is this? You have brought me such nice chipped rice. So saying, Krishna ate a morsel of the rice, but when he attempted to eat a second morsel, Rukmini, the goddess of fortune, stopped her lord by taking hold of his hand. My dear lord, by taking one piece of rice, Sudama will become wealthy not only in this life but in the next. Krishna just smiled and then they talked and talked as old friends to their heart's content. Sudama could not ask anything from Krishna. At last, Sudama bid Krishna and Rukmini farewell. The long road back home did not seem to be that hard as he thought of Krishna. When he reached home, he was amazed to see that a huge mansion was standing in the place of his poor hut. His wife and children, wearing new clothes, came to receive him. Sudama felt the touch of the all-knowing Krishna who had rewarded Sudama for his gift of love. If you like this story, give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. See you soon!